Okay, this is awesome dubbing, but it's not awesome when it comes in a bag. We're going to show you how to tame this beast and turn it into one of the most effective flies you could fish. It behaves just like seal. So check this one out. I think you're really going to like it. Okay, this is kind of a cool little technique to make bodies out of two materials that have been around for a long time in the shop, and I've just barely started playing with them. I like them a lot. First thing we're going to do is put uh, a hook in the vise. This 290, uh, the XC290BL from, from Umqua, is a really, really good stillwater hook. Cut a lot of fish on it. It's nice and stout, it's nice and sharp. It's just nice. We've got six aught uh, Semperfly Classic Wax. Is that what they call it? It's just their normal thread. It's a great thread. I really like it. All right, so we're going to tie on kind of a long marabou tail. So I got a brown marabou tail. And I'm going to tie it on maybe about like that long. So I don't want to tie anything else in and bulk up the body. So I've showed this trick before, but I'll show you again. It's, it's really, really cool. So I'm going to trim the marabou so that I'm going to tie it in right there. But I don't want to bump there. So I just take my fingernail and I pluck out any of the little fluff off the stems. And that's what it looks like. So when I tie this in, there's little to no bulk at all. All right. So just like that. I probably could have pulled more marabou off the back, but... Or this is going to be kind of a, a dubbing, messy body. It, it won't show up very much. What do I have here? This is Ice Straggle Chenille in Sunburst Orange. Sunburst is maybe one of the most popular still water colors. Really, really effective. I'm just going to tie that one in. I'm going to tie it in up here, though, because I do want this body to stay somewhat level. So there we are like that. Really tie that down. And now we're going to make a dubbing loop out of this Semper, Semperfly Seal Subs Brown. Now, when you get the package, it looks like this. Okay, so you have really long fibers. I'll just pull this one out. So you have a lot of long fibers. This stuff is designed so that you can kind of make your own blends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off, I don't know about, that much of the dubbing and I'm going to cut it about an inch long and if I'm just doing one fly I can take that and I'm going to blend that all in my fingers kind of mix it up if you have a little coffee grinder some dog brushes or a bunch of way to do it a bunch of ways to do it so there you go that's really really cool uh, dubbing it, it moves a lot it's real spiky and pokey it's nice all right, because I'm going to put a lot of stress on this dubbing loop, I'm going to make a double loop that adds a lot of strength, but I will need to come behind it and tie that off um, so that my loop is completely closed. You can see it goes down to a, a V right down there. And then I will just take my thread, move it forward, and I'm going to pull out the old trusty Smeyan twister thing or I don't know the name of it but this thing's awesome so you've seen me use this before I'm going to stick that in the loop get some of my fancy custom hand blended cheech style seal and we're going to build a very sparse stubbing loop you can get really sparse with this stuff I've been digging it a lot and it comes in only like 8 billion colors too all right, so got a fancy dubbing loop here. I'll twist that up. You can see up here it didn't want to tw quite twist. That's why we persuade it with Velcro. Just like that, real nice pick. You can see the core is almost just thread thin. So I'm going to take this piece of chenille now and this, let me see if I can show you this. These tweezers open up. So you could just wrap this, you know, seal forward and wrap the, the chenille through it. But I've been doing it with this technique that looks really cool. So I'll 
I'll clip those two together and then just twist them up both at the same time. And now we have that. So I'll twist it up a few more times. And as I wrap this, I won't use the rotary because it does need a little bit of hand persuasion. I poked myself in the practice round and I swore. So I got it all out of my system, Spence. You won't have to delete that one. Some, no, just kidding. All right, so we're getting real close, about like right there. Find a jumping off spot. And I'm gonna trim that right down where, where I wrapped it. These Renamed scissors are great for that. All right, I'm gonna push that back just a little bit. All right, now I will create kind of a pronounced orange head on this. And that's cool because it finishes in a little bit of that chenille too, helping me out. And once it's all done, we're going to take our fancy Velcro to it, really give it a brush. And it, I mean, you'll see how many different flavors there are in this stuff. I mean, tons of different colors of the seal dub and a ton of different colors of this ice draggle chenille. So check this one out. It's a small fly, moves a ton, and you might need some of these in your box.